Weekly, Garage Band, Garage Band Weekly, Garage Band, Garage Band Weekly. Need an answer to your question? John, do you have a suggestion? Seems a fountain of all knowledge. I think he might have gone to Garage Band College. But he doesn't know we're trying to find out. So join the chat and we'll give him a shout. John. John. Garage Band Weekly. Yo, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Garage Band Weekly, where today. We're going to be using this, the 8-bit legend chip tune pack to create a song in just one hour. Yeah, we'll be jumping in and doing that in just a jiffy. If it's your first time here, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today. And uh, more specifically, it is Garage Band Weekly, where we talk all Garage Band all the time. If you've got questions throughout the show, all you need to do is grab your keyboard and put a cue in front of your comment and uh, I'll be able to answer any questions you may have. And don't forget that if you want to get all the latest information about GarageBand, you just need to go to this one-stop shop, studiolivetoday.com slash GarageBand. Whether you are a GarageBand iPad or iPhone or even a Mac user, there's resources for you over there. We will get into the creation at the 10-minute mark of this video. So if you're watching on the replay, just scroll forward to 10 minutes and that's where we're going to start creating. We're just going to have a bit of a chat, a little bit of a yarn to the folks who are here live, answer any questions that may be burning at the edge of people's minds and then we'll dive straight on in and start creating here in GarageBand using the 8-Bit Legends pack. Uh, hello to Thomas Christ. Thank you for appointing folks towards the GarageBand FAQ. Uh, g'day to Mark Bro as well. Hello, Al Davis. Uh, hello to Andy and... Andy Aspine? Andy Aspine? Andy Aspine? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I hope you're doing well on this uh, Monday evening or Tuesday morning, depending where you are in the week. big wide open world of ours. Uh, get ready for the theme for Lynx 24, the Temple of Gobar. Yeah. So uh, the, the, I'll, I'll get into it when we when we dive in and actually do the song creation. But what I'm uh, I'm going to create something that's going to be like a cheesy 80s pop tune. So I'm going to flex my creative muscle and get out of my comfort zone because the reason I do these, if you're new to the channel or you haven't seen these before, I do these song in an hour challenges and I usually try to do a genre that is not in my wheelhouse. Like I'm a I'm a folk rock kind of pop kind of soft rock, yacht rock kind of guy <laughs> at heart with a little bit of a, you know, harder rock edge to some of my stuff. But uh, I don't do a lot of the pop side of things in terms of uh, in terms of synths and using drum machines and using loops and that sort of thing. So that's what we're going to be doing in this one. It's going to be interesting. And here's the thing, like I wanted to talk about this up front because if you are planning to do this, I, I recommend it because we can't always find... The, the problem with creating something, so something new, getting a new creation into the world, is you often don't have what you think is going to be the hours and days and weeks and months that it's going to take to get something from end to end. You're like, oh my God, I've got to sit down, I've got to write a whole song, I've got to do the verses, I've got to do the choruses, I've got to do the bridge, I've got to write the ending, I've got to mix it, I've got to master it, I've got to release it. It can be overwhelming. So I say just from time to time, you don't have to do it all the time, but from time to time, if you're not creating things or if you're feeling stuck, just give yourself a challenge like this. If you want a, a, a cut down version of this, there's also the eight bar challenge that I recommend, which is get eight tracks and do eight bars and just create a loop, create a hook, create a chorus, create something and do it in just eight by eight because that, that just squishes it down even more for you. But we are going to be spending an hour trying to create something. And I'm, again, I'm giving myself freedom to create the cheesiest, bubble gummiest, poppiest song. And I think the, the 8 bit legends chip tune pack could be the one to use. Yeah, you do. You just have to experiment. I mean, Thomas Christ knows about this. He has his alter egos, uh, like uh, Folk U that creates uh, different sorts of music. So Thomas goes the other way. He goes from his hard industrial stuff to uh, to doing some folky stuff, his ET phone homes and other things that he's created there. So uh, I will be creating this in the guise of Righty Doki, which again is my alter ego. So that's the, the band, band, that uh, I use to create Time McFlies, which is my 1.21, my, um, my tune. In fact, uh, I'll, I'll give you a listen to that because this is kind of what I'm, what I'm going to be harnessing here today. So if we jump over to Cube, basis, Cubasus Trey, 
So this is uh, this is my righty dokey song called "Time McFlies," and uh, it, this is one where I'm like, I just I'm going to give myself permission to write something super cheesy, and uh, it sounds like this. So I made it in Cubasis 3 and it was an app I hadn't ever used before and I just wanted to do something completely different out of left field. So that's what I went with uh, in the last one. And this time around, we are coming here into GarageBand and I'm going to create, but I'm not going to be here in my comfort zone in the tracks mode. I'm going to be starting in live loops. Yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be flexing my creative muscle even more by trying to create something using the live loops grid to start with. So that's going to be definitely well and truly out of my comfort zone. So I look forward to doing that. Uh, four minutes to go before we put uh, an hour on the clock and do this challenge. So I just wanted to mention a couple of things, a bit of news and notes. So last week was the Worldwide Developers Conference. As many of you know, if you missed the coverage here on the channel. I went into quite a bit of detail about it. Last week's podcast was all about it as well. So if you want to find out everything that went down at WWDC, you can check that out. The uh, the news, if you missed it for, for GarageBand users and for, for Apple fan people <laughs> in general, is, to, um, is that we have a 15-inch MacBook Air that's going to be released. In fact, it's uh, almost available now. I think it was the 13th. Of yeah, so it should be released any day now. So you should be able to go to your Apple store or go online and order one of those if you're in the market for a new MacBook. It's got the M2 and it's a 15-inch screen. It looks like a pretty nice piece of kit. You've got the new upgraded M2 Ultra Mac Studios and you've got the Mac Pro if you've got $7,000 burning a hole in your pocket. And you also have the opportunity to uh, go out and um, uh, yeah, yeah, show your interest. Join the mailing list for uh, the new Vision Pro. So that's the new nerd helmet, nerd goggles, the new headset, uh, which Apple announced and uh, will be starting at $3,499. So again, uh, that's not a thing for right now. And I don't know that it's going to do much for creators, but you never know. Uh, maybe it's something that you think is going to be the future of creating. We're all going to be moving knobs and dials on our screens, uh, minority report style and uh, play. I, I must admit, the one thing that, <laughs> that makes me excited with stuff like this is the ability to play like air drums and air guitar. Uh, I think that uh, as someone who played a lot of rock band and guitar hero and stuff in the past, simplifying the creation of music could be a pretty cool thing. So being able to just you know, grab grab nothingness and uh, play it, play a virtual guitar in the air, but I don't quite know exactly how that's going to work. So we'll we'll, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see and uh, see what happens with that. Alrighty, how do you make good orchestral music for movies and such? Says Hedox. Uh, in the two minutes we've got, uh, hello to you. Uh, can we answer that question um, with a lot of patience? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one bar at a time. Uh, we're, we're doing something a little different here today, but if there's anything, there's always crossover. Uh, so, and there are packs that do have sort of more of your orchestral and your string sounds in them. So, uh, yeah, look, we'll, we'll, we might, maybe we can see if we can use some string pads and things in this one, just to uh, to give you a little bit of a feel for that. But um, yeah, when it comes to orchestral, uh, Logic Pro is pretty good for orchestra stuff. GarageBand has, I've written orchestral type music in GarageBand, but it is, what I would do is start with something simple. So start by writing a piece that uses maybe like four string sections or like uh, strings and a double bass, like a violin, a double bass and, and maybe a bit of brass. So uh, yeah, but before you go for your big Hans Zimmer kind of 64 channels of, of orchestral sound, uh, start simple. Start at the very beginning. Uh, and as uh, Mark Rose says, yeah, the good thing about the 15-inch air is that the 13-inch has uh, reduced in price. So, yeah, uh, and look, for, for about $1,000, you can get yourself into uh, a pretty good Mac these days, which is pretty cool. All right, sip of coffee. Coffee, coffee for courage. Uh, and uh, again, if you are joining us, uh, what, what I, the other thing I'd recommend is if you're looking to get started in GarageBand, uh, go and check out the uh, the GarageBand uh, FAQ over on Studio Live Today. Thomas has already put the link there, but it's uh, easy to get to. Just studiolivetoday.com slash GarageBand. And you can find out how to do all the things. But I'm going to uh, stop yammering and actually get in and crack on with this because we are, uh, we are right here at the 10-minute mark. So I'm going to grab my clock here. Put a timer on for exactly 59 minutes and 59 seconds. I don't know why I'm doing that. I think because it started with 59. So we're going to do 59 and 59. We're going to hit the start button 
and uh, we're on our way. So let's get cracking and let's get creating here in GarageBand. So I have opened up a new project here and instead of going to the tracks view here, which is where I would usually start, I'm gonna go into live loops. But if you wanna play along at home, you wanna do your own 8-bit challenge, jump into the sound library first and foremost, because you'll need to tap here on the 8-bit legends pack and download that one. So I'm gonna use pretty much everything from this 8-bit legends pack and see what we can create with it so we're going to go with that we're going to jump out here go to live loops and we're going to grab the 8-bit legends live loops grid if you've never used live loops before i've got videos on the channel showing you all about it but in its simplest form if you want to play an entire column you just tap the bottom here and that's going to play or you can play individual you can play individual tracks by just tapping on them directly. Tap again to turn them off. And it kind of combines using Apple Loops and using pre-recorded sounds with more of a live performance. So if you've used things like Ableton Live, this is a similar kind of thing. You've got your pads here and you're using the pads and you're basically performing them in, in real time. Now, I have slightly cheated in that I've already used this pack because I did a review on it, but that was two weeks ago and I did hear some sounds in here that I thought would be pretty cool to be the basis for a really cheesy kind of pop song. So we're going to build up a track here uh, using some of these sounds. So the other thing we can do is we can pull this out so we want to see which which track is which. We pull that out and we can now see what we've got. So the popping bits, this is our drum machine. So uh, we've got a bunch of different uh, drum machine sounds up the top here. A few different variations. Different variations we can play with there. We've got our bass here. Uh, we've got Blockhead, which is doing a bit of uh, this business. Some nice synth chords there, which are cool. Uh, we've got an ARP adventure here, which is, you can hear it building. It's very quiet. This will be good for like a riser to bring it into a, another section. Stop that there. We've got the treasure hunt, which is this. These are these uh, slowly rising pads. So we might find a place to use that. Down here, we've got our lead. Funky little chip tune lead with the vibrato on there, which is cool. We've got uh, an up. And, and down the bottom here, we've got some FX or effects that we can use. So there's a little bit of a that one. Slight variation and a little jump sound there. So we can add in and use other things as we go through, but this is going to be the basis that we're going to be using. I'm going to grab my mouse so that I can show you where I'm tapping and you can see what's going on as we do this. So the basis of this is to literally just hit record and start putting some things in. So in my head, I've got an idea where we start off with the bass, like a bass groove, and then add in some drums and then sort of build it from there. So let's find out. I kind of like that bass sound and that one so i think this is going to be like our intro and sort of chorus hook and then i want to use this bass for like a verse because this to me sounds more like a, that sounds more like a kind of chorusy thing that we can sing along to and this one sounds like it's going to be like a very synth wave verse style so we're going to go with those sort of things as the basis and here's here's my number one tip with using stuff like this don't think you have to do everything. You don't have to boil the ocean here. So because you've got all these grids, and this is a small one, other ones have a whole bunch more tracks and a whole bunch more opportunity to use things. You can just use two or three of them. Most songs don't have five or six or seven or eight different drum patterns throughout the song. They can, but they don't have to. So don't, uh, don't get too carried away with that. The other thing I recommend at this point is to change the tempo and the key signature. So we're going to go to the settings here. The tempo is 134 at the moment. I do want it to be kicking along a little bit, so... But maybe about 130, just slightly slower than the default tempo for this. And then uh, the key, it's in D major at the moment. Why don't we just bring it down to C? <laughs> for two reasons. C is an easier key to play in if I want to add in my own keyboard parts. And now when we play this... 
it's going to be in a different key. Why is that important? Well, these packs are used by people all around the world to create songs. And if we're using loops that are used by other people, the more different they sound, the better. And because 90% of people will dive in here, they'll use the default tempo and the default key, just by tweaking those a little tiny bit, you're gonna give yourself a much more unique sound. So that's what we're going to go with. All right, so let's, uh, so that's the, the bass that I wanna go with. Now the drums, I think that this is, that's a more simplified drum. Uh, because these are very 8-bit, they're very splashy kind of drums. Whereas if you go with something like this, there's a lot of like noise and grit behind it. And same with this. Like those things are good for a bit of variation, but because I want to make this like a pop song, I need it a little cleaner. So we're going to we're going to go with this sound here. But what I want to do is build into it. So we'll we'll start with the bass, and then we'll add in the drum. So uh, let's just record in the first few bars here, and I'll show you how this all works. Hit record. Just a nice four bar bass intro. Hit the drum now. Let's bring in this treasure hunt. And then we're going to move over to this sound over here. So turn these off, 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 off. This is going to be like our cool first sort of sound. We'll add this arp to build it up. I'm going to stop there because <laughs> you saw I made my first mistake there. I tapped it too early. So this is where you can kind of combine your track view with your live loops view. So if we go back to our track view here, we can actually see where we were up to and where we wanted to bring in. So see how this came in too early there? Let's just delete that out. Delete it there. Oh, deleted everything. Undo, undo. Tap off, tap on, tap, delete it. So we'll just bring this back to that bar 25, which is where we we're up to. And then we can just go back to our playhead and we can come back to our loop grid here. Oop, I pressed the wrong button. Live loops. There we are. Monitoring back on. <laughs> Why am I in a sit? Now I'm adding things to the live loop. You can tell I don't use this a whole lot. Uh, let's get rid of that. And come back here into our grid. All right. Turn off. Okay. All right, we're back, we're back, we're good. So what do we want here? Well, we're gonna go, actually, we're gonna reset this first. Turn that off. And turn that off. Uh, did I mention comfort zones? Yeah, well, it's really out of it here with this stuff. So let's come back over to here. And now if we go back to our live loops grid. Okay, I think we're good. All uh, right, do we have more stuff than we had before? <laughs> <laughs> was I missing some other things? Oh, that's confusing. So let's um, record the bits that we wanted to do here, which is going to be this drum with these few bits along here. So let's hit record. At that point, I wanted to add in some more stuff here. So again, we'll go back to our tracks view and remove the end part here. Take it back to there and there. So the, the idea that we've got so far here is here's our, here's our intro that we're getting into here. And then this is where we're going to go from. <laughs> So here's our verse building in. Repeating that with this. No, we wanted another one of those, didn't we? So we wanted this to actually extend out past there. So I'm actually going to delete that and delete these ones because I wanted to use those ones as the next section. So we're going to split this out here. 
trap it and split it and grab it. And let's copy these and paste them down with the next bit. Copy and paste. Do, 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 do. And this is where we can kind of build it up using both modes at the same time. So this is where we wanted that ARP to come back in. So if we come back to our live loop screen here, we can uh, find our little ARP adventure and bring, is it this one? No, it's this one. We might bring this treasure hunt in as well there. So let's say uh, hit record. <laughs> Stop. I don't think that's the one I wanted. Oh, trial and error, folks. Trial and error to find what you want here. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Uh, let's go back. Because I think I wanted the, uh, the ARP sound, but maybe it was this one down here. Yeah, it was. It was that treasure hunt I wanted to bring in here. It really wasn't. You know what I'm going to do? We're at 48 minutes to go. I've, uh, I've kind of messed this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start from scratch. <laughs> the, the, the thing about creating uh, that uh, I've come to, to learn is that sometimes you just get yourself into a place where you're like, that's not going the way I wanted it to go. So I'm going to go back to the start and start again. Because when I went in and out of that pack before, this is what I originally had and this is what I was working with. And then I kind of did something that doubled it up. So this time around, we're going to uh, use it simply here. And I'm just going to play through a whole performance and then we're going to edit it afterwards. So take two, we're going to try a different methodology here. So uh, wish me luck, folks. Bring those drums in. There's our intro. This is what I wanted to do before. Found it better now. Let's see if we can get the timing right. Turn those off. Skip over to here.
<laughs> it was close to what I wanted to get out of that. So now, that worked a lot better because, again, I just embraced it. And you know, we're, we've still got 44 minutes left. So we can use this as the shell of our song and uh, play through this. Because, look, now we've got a track. Now we're working with something. So let's save it. <laughs> Before I ruin it again by doing something weird. To have a hold on that one, go to our rename and let's call this Boom Boom. Why? I'm not really sure. But I um I had in my head I had in my head an idea for a lyric that we'll try as we create this song. So let's uh, let's go through the track now and we'll uh, we'll work out what works and what we might need to change and cut and do things. Yeah, I like them too, Thomas. Nice crunchy drums. So there's our bass intro. I think we just need the kick drum here. So that's where we made a little boo-boo there, so we can just split these out and remove them. Because I reckon it's here where it's further down, so this is the one that we actually wanted. Yeah, so we'll split out there and get rid of that little section and bring everything across. Alright, tap and hold, drag over, delete these out. Oh, boo -boo 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 -boo, delete. Now, here's where it's, uh, you want to use your multi-select for this sort of stuff, so we're just going to tap outside of here, drag over everything to select it, and then we can just pretend that never happened. <laughs> so now we've got our transition here going from our intro into our first verse. that real synth wave, like European style. I think, uh, yeah, almost borders uh, the early Euro EDM with the bass. Uh, hello, by the way, the bla blankest, blank, blank list, blacklist. <laughs> I got there. Hello, blacklist. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is, here's the cool thing about using live loops. You don't, you're not stuck with just what it's got there because what I've decided is I only want the kick drum for this first bit as we build it up. So all we need to do is split this, grab this and edit it. And what we can do is remove the other parts apart from the kick drum. So we'll just grab it, <laughs> destroy the snares and the hats, and then tap it and delete it. Because I reckon that the build is going to sound better coming in from here. <laughs> deleted too much because I think I only wanted that first section to not have a key. Yeah, because we definitely need to bring the beat back in there. Let's just undo that. I went too nuts with that. I only wanted to edit out in this first section, but I ended up doing all the sections. So we'll just get rid of these ones. <laughs> I love that sound when you multi-select drums here in GarageBand. That sounds cool. I've always thought that. So now it should just be the kick drum there. Yeah, I reckon that's cool. Pronounce blacklist, gotcha. <laughs> so uh, we'll come and then go to here. Throughout this verse, I want to use some of these cool effects that they have in here. So just to show you how we use these one shots, when uh, we get to a point where we want to put one in here, if we're just recording, it'll record over the top of what we've already got there. <laughs> Just 
another one coming in this last one. See how it keeps the original ones, but it just adds in what we've added. So this is why Live Loops is cool, because you don't have to go over what you've already done. If you find something's a bit sparse and you want to add to it, you can actually do that. For instance, uh, when we get to this sort of second verse, I'm thinking when we come in here, we might need something to give it a little bit more background at the start there. So we need something more paddy. So here's where we can actually start using other instruments in here that we don't need to use in live loops mode. So say I want to play in a pad here, I can just hit the plus button here, go to my keyboard sounds, go to more sounds, go to the recently downloaded, and then go to the 8-bit legends, because we're going to use all of these. And then look, we've got all of our arps, we've got our leads, we've got our bass, and we've got pads. So let's start checking out some pads, shall we? We'll start with the Cubist Waves. So maybe something like that. We'll just play and uh, play along with it. All right, let's go back a little bit. We'll try one of the other patches here. We want something a little bit chunkier. What's the data stream pad? That's got a little bit more to it. It does have a cutoff there, though. So we want it to sort of go a little bit more. Let's try another one. What about the digital dream state? That's a little bit too, uh, a little bit too sort of phasey. That could be cool. Let's try this. Let's see if this is going to work in there. It's a bit more of an ARP than I was going to go for here, but... Uh... Right down here. Right? something like that. Alright, let's try something a bit different there. Let's see if that is going to work. I hit a wrong note there, but I just went with it. Uh, let's find this. So that one there, we want that to go up to the F sharp instead of the F. So this one here. I think. Let's just see if it's going to work with the chord that's there. Might just go down there just to keep it keep it simple. And we do there's one there where it didn't hit it right, the, the velocity that we wanted. This one here will just up the velocity of that a little bit. Boom boom velocity. Nice. Boom. Alright. So we'll come back to our track view and we'll just play around with this. <laughs> 
34 minutes to go, by the way. not convinced by it but it's worth experimenting with these sort of things all right let's come down to this break and see if there's anything that this needs hello gary <laughs> Now this one dropped in here, you heard that there was a little gap there, for some reason it's removed that first hit, we'll just fix that. Oop. moved all this over somehow so this is going to come back to here and this one will uh, will bring in I reckon there let's just see if this is going to work better <laughs> Maybe we just have that going through the break here. Listen. And this is where we brought in those wrong drums. So we're just going to delete those out and copy and paste in our regular drums, which were these ones here. Unless we use the different... No, we use the regular drums there. We'll copy them. And paste them in here. All right. And uh, let's see what the ending's going to do here, because I think uh, we need something cool to finish this off. All right, let's try this. <laughs> No. Maybe again we use this as the final little loop bit, like the bin it bit. I don't mind that, except maybe without the final one. Do 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 do. Yeah. All right. That that's pretty cool. All right, now I've got a bit of a vocal idea for this. We've got 31 minutes left, so let's see if we can record some vocals for our cheesy as cheese pop song that's uh, come together interestingly. My coffee's gone cold. I got so into got so into creating that I let my coffee go cold. Um, and and the, the cool thing is, whenever you do something like this, yeah, you've got to fight really hard. Like you saw me starting to go down the path of frustration at the start there. And then go, oh, all right, we'll just start again and we'll see what we can do with this. This may not turn into a song that I do anything with or keep. Or the hook from this may become its own song with something else. So don't ever, like sometimes it's better to go through to completion uh, and just see what happens with something and just get something done. All right, let's, um, let's go to the start here and we're going to record in vocals. So let's get a vocal idea going on here. And the vocal idea, you could even replace the melody line I do for vocals with a lead instrument if we wanted to as well, or complement it with that. Hello, hello, let's turn on monitoring. Check, one, two, turn up the gain on my input. Now you can hear me. Hello, that's too loud. Hello, la, 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 la. All right, I'm going to sing in. I'm going to sing in what I think the, the actual sounds should be to start with. So just without worrying about words. And then we'll write us some words. So if you've got ideas for words, I'm in my head. So the chorus, well, sorry, I'm a bit loud there now. The chorus I was doing before, um, I've got this idea of it going boom, boom. But my heart goes boom, 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 boom. So I'll sing that bit when we get to that part. Uh, but the rest of it, I don't quite know. But we'll, uh, we'll record it in and see what happens. The joy of just experimenting. Intro. It really does sound like 90s. 
going through that then i was coming up with like a concept because this is an 8-bit chip tune right it's got to be it's got to be like about a dude at an arcade in the 80s like i saw you at the pac-man you had a quarter in i wanted to get to know you but then i'm so, you know i reckon that's that's where we're going with this so uh let's see if we can um listen back to that and just see if the the rhythm and the melody work in this one. So I like the whole syncopator rhythm, a very sort of 80s style here, so. The other thing I'm thinking here, and this is the beauty of live loops, so we'll just delete out that horrible vocal performance. The beauty part of using loops for something like this is that we can now actually change the both the tempo and the key and it won't affect anything because everything will stay in the right key. So I'm actually going to take this up higher because I think it kind of needs to be a little bit higher. <laughs> what do you reckon? Um, and I need to... Oh, oh, oh. We need to like to make this a really over exaggerated vocal preset. So let's go. This is where I think I could use something that I usually don't use, like something like the uh, sweet chorus. Ba 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 ba. I don't think I've got enough coming through. Check check check. One two three. Ba 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 ba. All right. Um, let's um, crank up the ambience. Check ba and the chorus. <laughs> And give us something, uh, check, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's record with this. Yeah. 
I never don't have fun when I do these sort of things. So uh, bear with me, folks. <laughs> I I um I make fun of myself so that uh, you don't have to. All right, let's uh, listen to this. Okay. The one thing I'm, I'm noticing here is, see how it's just really, really loud? This is the thing I find with these loops, is that you basically when you start mixing and bringing in real live instruments, you have to uh, bring everything back down. So uh, let's just try this. I saw you at the pack, You put a quarter in. And that's where I remember. I forgot to bring the pin. I saw you at Space Invaders You had the highest score But then I got frightened My heart went boom, 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 boom Every time I see you there My heart goes boom, 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 boom And it can make white a scare I do like the delay. Someone said delay. Yeah, it definitely needs the quarter note delay on there, but I think it needs uh, more of the... We'll start with the pop overdrive here just to give it a little bit more guts to this. Um, this has its own delay built in, doesn't it? Every time I saw you there, my heart was boom, 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 boom. Even when it's in the air. Um, I like Kraftwerk robotic tones to start this sort of song. Yeah, that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? All right, let's see if we can... <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, workshop and mould this into something that's going to work for us. I have gone full Barbie girl, Cold Acre. Yeah, like I say, you gotta you got to get out of your comfort zone. Hello, Creed. I hope you're doing well. Uh, auto, yeah, like a share. Auto, maybe I could finally use some tuning in the chorus. Let's, um, let's, let's go with that. With, um, we'll duplicate this out. Turn off my monitor for now. And yeah, we'll we'll put like some extreme tuning or something on the on the chorus section. I like the um I kinda like the start of this. So uh I saw you at the Pac-Man, you put your quarter in, and then I started trembling or I couldn't <laughs> uh this is where you're gonna it's, the hardest thing is to write lyrics that make any sort of sense. So I'm not gonna worry too much about the sense of the lyrics. I'm just going to uh record let's record it line by line. Let's write and record because we've got those gaps in between. We can literally record Line by line. line. Check, 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 check. That sounded cool. All right. I saw you at the Pac-Man. You put a quarter in. I like that the uh, the effect just goes there at that exact point too. I think that works well. So it's just... Uh... I saw you at the Pac-Man. You put a quarter in. Um, something about the joystick. Got to have that. That. Your fingers on the joystick. Like, oh, hang on. Uh, you put a quarter in. What rhymes with in that we can put there? Um, uh, I'll just put. I'll use green. <laughs> To, as you start to grin, it's going to be so lame. Your fingers on the joystick. Your face, it had a grin. I wanted Space Invaders. You wanted Jumpman Pro. That's when I had to go home. Because my heart went boom, 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 boom. Every time I see your face, it goes boom, 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 boom. Now my heart it starts to rain. I'm playing on my home now. I'm on my NES. I put my Zelda cartridge. But my heart goes boom, 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 boom. 
Every time I see your face, my heart goes boom, 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 boom. My heart, it starts to raise it now. Where you could have like some little sort of group on you. Uh, we need to uh, work out where things go out and back in there. So uh, there's. Uh, I think this is where it like goes back to the chorus bit. Yeah. It does. So that could be a big, a big long instrumental break, so I don't have to write any more lyrics. Boom, 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 boom. Every time I see your face, my heart goes boom, 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 boom. Now I've given up the race I've given up the race <laughs> bop, 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 bop. Let's, um, let's try some weird ass auto tune on the boom booms And I'm hearing like a boom boom, like a boom boom Like a call and response thing Quarter, oh, quarter in Hello, show, show. Your fingers on the joystick Your face, it had a grin I wanted Space Invaders You wanted Jumpman Pro That's when I had to go home Because my heart went boom 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 Yeah, let's go the boom boom uh, We'll bring this down Because what we can do is just bring this to a separate track uh, which goes down to here. This is where you could use some automation. If I was using something like Logic Pro, I could automate this, but I'm, uh, I'm in GarageBand. So we're going to go with what we can do. Uh, we need to split that there too. Split it, split it, and bring it down just for fun. Let's use something I never use, which is the uh, extreme tuning version here. Uh, where is it? I thought it was under vocals, or maybe it's producer effects. Is there extreme? There's one that's like extreme tuning, unless it's under here. extreme tuning <laughs> with the space and the and the voice control. Let's see what this does. Because my heart went boom 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 boom. <laughs> Every time I see your face, it goes boom 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 boom. Now my heart it starts to rain. Uh, yeah, good point. Lowering the bass on the vocals a bit. It's um, it is muddy because I'm using a dynamic mic. I probably needed to to bring out the um, condenser mic for this one. How are we going on time? We've got 15 minutes left. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll we'll bring the boom booms down for the other chorus too. But my heart goes boom boom. Yeah, the vocals are not super clear, and I think I've got too much compression on them too. Um, we'll leave everything down here for the rest of it, <laughs> and we'll we'll do a little faders down remix in a jiffy, uh, so that we can complete the song, or at least have some form of completed song in the song. I saw you at the Pac Man. You put a quarter in. Well, maybe the drive is giving it. Your fingers on the joystick. <laughs> joystick. Your face, it had a grin. I wanted Space Invaders. We'll just do a little bit of a... You wanted Jumpman Pro. I don't know what Jumpman Pro is. <laughs> That's when I had to go home. Because my heart went... <coughs> Let's just go back there. Your face, it had a grin. Yeah, we'll just do a... Uh, I wanted Space Invaders. A high pass on that. We'll you want to jump man pro so it's got a bit more clarity that's, that's when right. i had to go home <laughs> 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 
Every time I see your face, it goes boom, 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 boom. Now my heart it starts to break. I'm playing on my home now. I'm on my NES. I put my Zelda cartridge. But my heart goes boom, 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 boom. Every time I see your face, my heart goes boom, boom. Yeah, uh, Mark's got a good idea. We'll add some space in the uh, extreme tuning. Yeah, give it a bit more uh, more of this. Boom, boom. My heart, it starts to race in now. And bring the echo and reverb up on it. So what's missing is a is a really cool lead solo in this little section here. Oh, I'll do that. So we'll see if we've got time and energy to throw a little lead solo in here, and then we'll mix, and then we'll be done. And I don't know, I, I kind of dig it. I, I'm a bit I'm a bit of a weirdo. Hello from Florida. G'day, Mike Swell. Good to see you back, my friend. We're doing some weird stuff here today. <laughs> hope you hope you're enjoying enjoying or enduring. Either way, it's fine. Your face, my heart will boom, boom. My heart, it starts to race in there. We need to find a lead thing to bring in here. So let's uh, let's find a cool lead instrument in here. We'll start with the first one, a simpler time. No, it needs a bit like harsher. Coin operated, that sounds promising. Maybe. Uh... Yeah, that's it. Something like that, I reckon, might be cool. I was thinking something different, but um, that that sound, that patch, is so cool. I think I need to use it. Still racing down. I reckon something like that sounds pretty sweet. <laughs> For a one hour song where we have uh, exactly 10 minutes left to mix it, uh, I think it's fine. So let's let's mix this track and what we're going to do is a faders down mix. So we're going to turn everything down, which will give us a much more balanced sound at the end here. And we'll bring it in instrument by instrument and see what we need to do with this. So we've got bass, uh, bass and kick, which need to be right up the middle. So we don't want to do any panning on these things because we need these to be centered uh, throughout. Well, we don't need to, but we want to. So let's um, start by hearing this bass. We'll match this kick drum up to it. Quantize the lead, yes, Tom. I should do that when we get to that because it'll be a bit off the beat, won't it? Bring in this sound. Bring in my vocal. I saw you at the Pac-Man You put a quarter in Your fingers on the joystick Your Pac-Man 
You put a quarter in Your fingers on the joystick Your face it had a grin I wanted Space Invaders You wanted Jumpman Pro That's when I had to go home Your face it had a grin I wanted Space Invaders You wanted Jumpman Pro That's when I had to go home Because my heart went Every time I see your face it go boom 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 Now my heart it starts to rain too much shit, come on, man. I'm playing on my home now I'm on my NES I put my Zelda cartridge But my heart goes boom 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 Every time I see your place My heart goes boom 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 A little bit less on the page. My heart it starts to race it now Six minutes. Any panning, you reckon? Any panning we need on this? I don't know. Um, I've, I've added some echo back on this. Thing. I saw you at the Pac-Man. You put a quarter in. Uh, the only panning thing I really want to do is these little things. I want to do some panning left-right automation because I think that sounds cool with this sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is duplicate out this track, copy these two, and... Um, just paste them down below. This is a cool little tip if you're using GarageBand and you want to do panning automation because you can't pan automation, but you can automate volume. So what we'll do is we'll turn these up a little bit, up to there, up to there. Let's turn automation on. Tap it. Oop, go back to here. Didn't need to go into there. Tap and go automation. Try it again. Automation. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these go between one from one to the other. So we'll turn on our automation points, turn this on, and we'll go from here. And this one's going to go that way, and this one's going to start there and go that way. Because what we can do is if we pan one of these hard left and one hard right, then it's going to uh, work a treat. And we'll do the same, but in reverse, going back the other way, coming from here to here. It's all very rough because we're running out of time. <laughs> Close enough, it's good enough. There we go. Uh, so it's going to go really loud on that second one, isn't it? So what we need to do now is pan this one to your left. Track pan left and go this one to your right. Track pan right. And they should do some cool stuff. We'll just solo them so you can hear it properly. Hey, how cool is that? Let's bring it into with the mix. It just means you get a little bit of cool stereo spectrum in here. Water in. <laughs> Your fingers on the joystick Right And then your face go home Because my heart went boom 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 Every time I see your face It go boom 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 Alright, so to finish off here How long are we going time? Four minutes to go 
I'm hearing a little bit of FX at the start here because I don't usually use FX because it's not really a thing that works for most of the sort of tracks I, I do. But I'm hearing your very standard lead-in filter sweep. So let's just see if this is going to work. <laughs> Like a nice you reckon? Let's see it. So I'm gonna have to I'll use my thumb here, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing down in the bottom left. I saw you at the Pac-Man You put a quarter in Your fingers on the joystick Alright, I wanted to use the repeater there, but I couldn't remember which one it was. So, <laughs> let's just get rid of everything after the filter sweep and see, because I reckon at the start here, if we play this again... Just for something a bit different, and then maybe if you come here, do a double speed one. Just to give it a little variation in that intro, uh, to bring it in. So I reckon, I reckon we're pretty good. <laughs> let's um, let's mix this down so that we can say we've got a full song. Because we've got two minutes left, so we're going to save out by tapping on the top right, top left there. Boom, boom is done, done. So we're going to tap and hold and share it out. We're going to share the full song as an uncompressed WAV file because this is Righty Doki's amazing new hit. We're going to uh, open it in audio. Sh oh, we'll, we'll open in. Open in and we'll open it up in audio share and we'll take a quick final listen. And then I don't know, what do you reckon? Do I just stick it out <laughs> with nothing else done to it? I just make this Righty Doki's new song, Boom Boom. Oh, no. There's probably some little bits of Pete mumbling to himself in there that need to come out, I would say. Uh, one minute 30 to go. I think we've got just enough time to, to, to listen to it. Well, actually, I'm, I'm going to count it. Even if we don't get it exported, I'm going to say it's done, and then we can listen to it at the end. So we won't send it to Jade. We will, however. Where's my audio share? Uh, more? I don't have audio share as one of my go-tos, and it should be there. There it is. All right. So here is, uh, here is Boom Boom. How long is it? Two minutes 40. It's not, not too bad. Uh, yeah, it could be. There you go. This could be my TikTok. This could be my TikTok, um, TikTok debut of something. Righty dokey, Boom Boom. Uh, I think there's about 400 songs called Boom Boom, though. Uh, all right, I'm going to turn my, I'm gonna turn my uh, microphone down. And uh, here it is. We are exactly uh, 48 seconds to go in the, the one hour. This is what I did with an hour of my time today. Uh, this is the world premiere of Righty Jokey's brand new hit called Boom Boom. <laughs> I saw you at the Pac-Man You put a quarter in Your fingers on the joystick your face, it had a grin I wanted Space Invaders You wanted Jumpman Pro That's when I had to go home Because my heart went boom 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 Every time I see your face It go boom 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 Now my heart, it starts to rain I'm playing on my home now I'm on my NES 
I put my Zelda cartridge on my heart goes boom, 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 boom. Every time I see your face, my heart goes boom, 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 boom. My heart, it starts to race in now. That's a bit hooky. I reckon that's a bit fun. I don't know. <laughs> Pete Crush. There you go. Yeah, very, very different. Uh, very, very interesting song. Um, something I've not done before. And again, it's. Uh, I do these so that you can see that anyone can kind of do anything if you just experiment around. Sometimes you'll hit something that works, sometimes you won't, and that's okay. If you watch this from the start, you saw the first 10 minutes, I basically just got myself all in a tiz and then restarted and went back to the drawing board and, uh, and created uh, a song. There you go, in a, a two-minute 40 song created in, uh, uh, in under an hour here in GarageBand on the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hit. I'm, I'm not. Uh, yeah, like uh, it could be a TikTok thing. Could it? I'll have to. I'll have to ask my children to see if they want to uh, to see if they want to use my boom boom in their in their TikToks. Make it popular. Um, so yeah, that that was Garage Band Weekly for this week, and that's this week's live shows. Um, as you can see, I've got some work to do around the home studio because you know, CDs have fallen down, and I need to dust and clean uh, clean up. Uh, I've got some Logic Pro stuff coming for you in uh, the next few days. We've got some videos on some Logic Pro things that you can do. So if you're following along with Logic Pro, don't forget we're coming up on the one month. So there's going to be a lot of decisions being made by a lot of folks about Logic Pro. So uh, in next week's GarageBand Weekly, we might be looking at the the pros and cons of Logic Pro, moving from GarageBand to Logic Pro, why you should uh, choose to move and um, why you maybe you should choose to stay. Because as you can see, GarageBand on iOS, very capable. I mean, apart from the, the, the only limitations we really had with this one was uh, when we got to this the panning automation. We just had to use a second track to do our, uh, our funky little automation pan thing there. But uh, apart from that, can pretty much do everything, can't you? Same pack too. The, the same 8-Bit Legends pack is available in Logic Pro, but it's also available right here in Garage Band. Yes, thank you. Yeah, if you did have fun here today, if you're watching on the replay going, what the heck did I just see? Then feel free to hit the like or the dislike button, whatever you choose. Um, and yeah, we've got uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff happening next weekend, as we always do with all the live shows. But uh, yeah, a couple of couple of days without me in your face uh, never goes astray. So I'll see you around the place. Don't forget studiolivetoday.com slash GarageBand for all your GarageBand needs. And until next time, as I say at the end of each and every show, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, keep creating, and uh, let's go out with one. Uh, one final little taste of a little bit of boom boom. Uh, bye for now, folks. I'll show ya. Boom boom, boom boom. Every time I see your face, it goes boom boom, boom boom. Now my heart it starts to rain.